Welcome to part two of creating Mac with Blender. Let's deactivate this optimal display to see the wireframe. And let's go to this option or you can go to object properties and let's see what we have here. Maybe inside the visibility or maybe a viewport display and just dis and just display wireframe to see the, the subdivision. And that's too much but uh, I can accept this results. Let's uh, go to subdivision. Maybe I need to take this down. Let's see the results. That will work with the sub, uh, subdivision iteration one. Let's go back to this option and let's activate wireframe. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. If I want more uh, segment, I will uh, go back and decrease this number. For now, I'm gonna apply the subdivision. And now, it's ready. Now we need to add this image right here on this mug. So, I will uh, jump to Photoshop to draw this uh, simple shape right here. Right now, we are inside Photoshop and I will uh, create a new uh, custom image. I gonna um, add in the width 1000. By 1000, it will be square and hit create. And there we go. Now we have this. Let's uh, start creating uh, this shape. So let's go to the shapes here and let's create the eye. Just click and drag and press space to move this. Just put a one right here. And as you see now, it's filled with the black. You can go to fill and uh, make this empty because I just need a stroke. The stroke is five, it's not enough. I'm gonna crank this up to eight maybe and hit enter and now it's thicker I think this will work maybe I can take this up to 10 yeah I think that would be better now I will like, create another circle here just like that and I gonna turn off the stroke and enable the fill and there we go now we created this one I don't need uh, uh, this area, I need to delete this, so select this new uh, circle that we created and right click on the layer and go to rasterize layer and just rasterize it and hit E from the keyboard to activate the, the eraser and just hit Alt, right click and take the mouse down to make it strong and just delete this area we don't need it make it small and delete this there we go be careful not to go farther because that will cause a problem like that all right now let's uh, use the pin tool and let's create hit left click here and hold shift and one here and then click and hold the left click to create a curve just like that and when you complete you can go to fill and turn off the fill and keep the stroke and take this to 10 hit enter and there we go now we create this one let's go to move tool and maybe I need to move this a bit down just like that I will select the background and activate the look to look this the background because accidentally when I click and drag to select these it will be moved but now that's not gonna happen so grab these and move them here in the center maybe just like that now let's go back to the pen tool again and let's create line starts from here hold shift and ends there and now to create a new shape here hold control shift click in the space and then create a new shape start from here and here in the middle 
you can use the ruler if you want just click and drag and put it in the center if you want and so we just created uh, a point right here and I'm gonna create another point left to cre left to click and hold it to create a curve just like that and then go back here and create something like that and that's cool now control shift and click in the space and then create new point here goes straight down just like that if you want to move this a bit you can move it just like that that's cool now let's select this new piece and let's go to the layer hit control on the left control left click to select this uh, area inside and I will create a new layer here and I gonna call it red because I need to add red color and let's uh, switch this black color to something red like that and hit control delete sorry can uh, alt delete to create this red layer right here and then hit control D to deselect and take this layer underneath this shape right here and there we go now we create something like that let's see what else we can do here let's go back to the shapes and that's nice all right so now we finished after that just turn off the background and save the image hit control alt s or you can go to image file sorry and uh, save as and just save this image save it as bng image i'm gonna call it the face and i'm uh, gonna save it let's see where could i save it so now i f i saved this image let's go back to blender all right now we are back to blender i will select the mic and tap to the edit mode here and i will select these faces let's see hit number three to switch to face mode and i will grab this face from this area and hold control shift and grab this one right here to select these faces between and now with this face selected let's go to modif uh, object data properties and let's open the uv map and i will create another uv map so just hit the plus and they're gonna call this image just to recognize it and i will open new window here and switch this window to uv editor so now with this face selected just switch to this window and hit u but just uh, make sure to rotate this when you uh, when you unwrap it before you rotate this just open the unwrap and change it to angle paste to confirm all that's gonna give us just very subtle effect here uh, not too much I think that's not gonna make a huge difference don't worry grab this all of these faces hit R and hold control to snap it and rotate it 90 degree just like that and hit G and just move it and put it right here and now we got something here when you complete just hit tab to go back to the object mode and now we need to create the material so let's put uh, the mouse right here and let's click and drag to create a new window and I'm gonna change this one to shader editor and hit N to get rid of this panel and with this mug selected let's hit new to create a new material here and let's go back to the folder and now I got this new image that we created just click and drag and put it right here inside the, this view and let's see now what we can do here so now I got this and I will plug this to the base color just use the color and plug it and I gonna hazy and go to material preview to see the result here and as you see this image applied on all the all the mug so what I need is I just need to tell blender is to use this new UV map because I need to apply this image on a specific area here so to do that I can press shift a to add and let's search for UV map so just click and put this right here and 
plug the UV with the vector here and switch this option to the to the image and now as you see uh, this image is shown right here and at the same time it's shown right here I gonna tell you why that's happened hit tap to the edit mode with these faces selected hit control I to invert the selection and hit A to select all of, the, all of these faces and hit S to scale them make them very very small and move them away with the key away of this drawing just put them anywhere maybe right here and then hit tab and there we go now the face is just shown in this area so now we just need to make it some uh, tweaking here to make this better let's see what we can do I gonna hit shift A to add and I gonna add let's see what I can add here uh, RGB mix mix RGB and I gonna put this right here and I gonna plug the color to color 2 and the alpha to to the factor and then plug the color to base color and there we go now take this color up to make it brighter if you want and now you can change the color to whatever color you want you can control that for me, I'm gonna accept the white result here. Now we got something here beautiful. There we go. Maybe I need to make it darker a bit. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better. Now we got something very beautiful. All right, now after that, let's see what else we can do. I'm gonna add a plane here. Shift A and go to Mesh and add plane. And just scale the plane, make it bigger, it's very big, scale it, scale it, just like that. And let's create a new material to the plane, hit new, and I'm gonna change this to something dark, very dark, and the roughness maybe, gonna make it a bit reflective, not too much, that's gonna work for me. The image, I don't want it, just select it, delete it. And now we got something interesting here, after that, we need to... Uh, render this uh, this thing so let's add lighting shift a go to light and add area light the area light is inside the mug key and take it up and by the way don't forget this mug is two meters high it's very big if you want to scale it you can scale it down if you want to leave it at this size you can leave it so for me i gonna leave it hit g to move the light anywhere maybe right here and use this ball grab it with left click and move it to the mug just like that and grab the light and use one of these corners and make it big and let's hit Z and go to the render and let's see what we got here I think now we are rendering with Eevee and as you see there is not too much lighting here let's crank this from 10 watt to 500 watt now we have some lighting let's select this light Hit Shift D, take this one to the other, to the other side, grab this ball and move it to the mug. And maybe I need to move this light, sorry, the light key, and move it right here, make it at this area, emit lights from the side. And I'm gonna switch this to a uh, cycle, just go to the render properties and switch this from EV to cycle and there we go now we are rendering with cycle we just need a camera shift A and let's add a camera hit G to move the camera up G and put it right here and just hit zero to look to the scene from the eye of the camera and there we go to control the camera select the frame and you can go to view and navigation and go to the fly navigation or you can go again to view and navigation and use walk navigation that's better now you can use the W A S D like you are playing a game and now you can use the mouse to center the camera and move it wherever you want so I think this angle will be nice or maybe something from top so hit E and go up 
with the walk navigation activated just hit E and go up just like that and hit left click to confirm to confirm it and now we got something here so let's select the mug and let's go back to the material to make the material better so now what we need I'm gonna leave the roughness just like that and I'm gonna add another layer reflected layer above this mug to do that I'm going to create uh, a new shader here it's called glossy BSDF so put this right here take the roughness down and let's add another uh, node here it's called mix 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 shader and put the mix shader right here and the black so let's take this right here plug the BSDF to the shader and this one plug it to this node and plug the shader here to the surface and now we have the factor we need to add something here in the factor so I will add Fresnel so let's hit shift A and let's search for Fresnel F R and and here it is grab it and put it right here and plug it with the factor so uh, Fresnel will uh, help us to make this the glossy node or the glossy shader just shows at the narrow angle here or the sharp angle so this area is faced to the camera so we are not seeing this material but for this area because now we have sharp angle here and here and there now we can see the reflect of this glossy BSDF if I take the roughness up you will see you will lose we will lose these reflecting reflected places and so just make sure to take this down to zero now after that let's go back to this material and let's see what we have here we have subsurface let's add a point two maybe let's see the result I just need to make the lighting goes deeper inside this material and reflect back to the camera and that's gonna happen with the uh, help of the subsurface I think this amount is very high let's add point 0.1 maybe alright I think that's gonna work so let's uh, switch this to the 3d viewport and let's select the light the source let's go to the light properties and maybe I need to take this to 800 to make it stronger maybe 9 and let's see the result here alright now we got something here now I need to render before I go to render at least I just need to switch here to view layer properties and let's go down to activate denoise denoise will help us to eliminate the noise when the render is completed so just activate the noise and let's uh, go to the image and I'm gonna leave it 1920 with 1080 and uh, from the properties here I don't have anything here maybe you need to if you want to increase this number you can increase it you will have nice results so I just need maybe to scale the the ground as I scaled more to get rid of all of these seams the edge sorry of the ground and there we go now let's go to render and just render the image and when the render is completed I will be back alright now the render is finished let's make this view bigger and let's uh, let's save this image to jump to the Photoshop to uh, tweak the colors there so let's go to image and save as and save it let's save it as uh, a new mug just like that and save image so this is the new mug I gonna drag it and put it inside Photoshop and let's go to filter and let's activate camera raw filter or you can press shift control a to activate this tool and let's make some tweaking here I gonna increase the texture up a bit maybe just a bit and clarity maybe 
maybe exposure contrast manipulate the contrast so let's see what we have here shadow maybe we can make the background darker with the white can take it a bit you can switch to preset and choose one of these options medium to make it sharp a bit maybe I can uh, grab the light and I think that's all what you want and let's discuss this result a bit by the way if you want to change the the temperature make it bluish or I'm gonna leave it in the center just double click the arrow and as you see this is the results and you notice that we have a very uh, subtle reddish color here and that's because the sub surface scattering and that's something real when lights hits on uh, a surface or a material like that the light will go inside the medium of this material and it will reflect to eye uh, not from the surface uh, from the medium of the surface i mean the light will go uh, beyond the surface and goes deeper inside this material and reflect it back to the eye and when that's happened that's gonna give you some result like that and above that we have a reflected layer and we got this with the help of Fresnel effect after that just hit OK and now we got something beautiful here you can see Control Z before Control Shift Z after alright so that's will do it for this tutorial and I will see you on the next one if you like this video consider to subscribe because I will publish start to finish videos just like what you see so see you next and thank you for watching